What up, it's Warchief, and today we're going to talk about sound design with audio. And I know some people don't like to do sound design, they just like to go out there, get a preset, put it in their song, but I feel like sound design is helping me for inspiration because I'm having a really tough time making stuff and I've been trying to design sounds with audio, already audio that's already done, and make it different or something that is completely different from its original take, I guess. But anyways, let's talk about it and here we go. And make sure to like and comment down below and subscribe. Ding! Bitwig Studio open right here. And then we are going to look at this group I have. And I will play the songs, indi the songs, the sounds individually. But first I have to turn off all these effects racks right here. We're going to go to the first sound right here. And it's just a pluck. And it's so crazy. <laughs> Hear that? That's, it just sounds cool. And then we'll just play the second one. That's just a sub. So in sound design, you kind of want to design a sound you're thinking about. And I was going for like, I was like, I want to make like a real weird ambient sounding thing. And I, I pretty much did that with these sounds. But it's so weird because I use these sounds you would never think that would be the final product. So it's crazy. So we'll go through all these. And then these are all uh, oh, shells. Yeah. Just shells being tossed around. This is a kick drum. And then this is like some high vox. You can see it's an E flat uh, third octave, I guess. Or it's this is the third sample. One of the two. See, nothing too special. Okay, so what I did with this is in the effects, um, I kind of challenged myself. I was like, okay, I want to use all of the bitwig audio effects for every sound and make something so that's exactly what i did i used all these effects the blur chorus comb filter freak, yeah you can read them there they are <laughs> but anyways i used all these effects in all of the sounds and i made this crazy ambient sound and it's so cool click out of that and we are going to play the first one this pluck it doesn't even sound like a pluck it sounds it sounds weird so let's play it that's like alien spaceship stuff it's like it just sounds cool and then i'll play the sub it's so crazy because i made like a high pitch sound with the sub and it's like it sounds like a scary movie like when it when the action is about to happen like like crazy stuff do the kick and then the uh vocals right here it, this sounds cool too sounds like somebody's like sliding like metal on metal kind of like I don't know if you ever tried that or got sound from that and put it in a song or something. It's pretty cool. Why I'm talking about sound design is I, it just gave me an idea to create something. And I created this. This is the final version. And it sounds cool. And I can save the sound and put it in my songs later. And, and this is just to help you when on your downtime when you're not feeling inspired or you need something to do musically when you haven't like been making music for like a week like me i've been playing apex legend <laughs> what but anyways um this is what i've been doing in my downtime not making any songs just designing sounds with audio files and it's been helping me out a lot i've been making kick drums snare drums like hi-hat a whole bunch of stuff and it, i really am like it's helping me with mixing and it's helping me uh, pick out sounds where they need to go. So if you want to start sound design, I would definitely start with the audio. You definitely need to start with just audio. Don't mess with any sense yet. Just if you want to just want to get into it, just use audio clips or samples, and it definitely helps. And um, if you want to check out my chain right here, I used all the audio effects. I'll go real slow. It's the tree monster, the comb, the blur, the chorus, flanger. Yeah, you know what they are. I'll go even slower yeah but that's pretty much it and i highly recommend you start getting into sound design when on your downtime or just make drum loops make something and save them and you'll come back to them i always come back to the stuff i make it's crazy i just always do that and uh i feel like this stuff will help you in the end and it's really inspiring and it will get you through tracks in the future so just thank just because you think you're going through something where you have downtime you're not really 
you're not really, I guess, having downtime. It's just you're just exhausted from writing so many songs. You need your brain needs to be doing something else. So you should be doing something with music, just not working on songs. Just work on sounds and not even big sounds, like small sounds, and just do it like repetitively. Like and then when you get burned out from just making sounds, you'll go back to songs and you'll be like, "Whoa, I just made this song in two hours." Thanks, and that's 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 how it happens. But anyways, yeah, this, I know this video has just been like a bunch of rambling and everything, but I feel like this is really uh, helpful, and I hope you guys take this knowledge that I'm giving you and you run with it. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment down below, tell me what you think about the sound design or my inspirational speech <laughs> I just rambled about. And uh, yeah, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. See, peace, see ya.